we could substantially re reduce um, concussion or mild traumatic brain injury uh, if we had a device that took into account neck motion. Okay, I, that's, that's my opinion. I think that um, if you got together engineers and um, people that know about traumatic brain injury, this problem could be solved fairly quickly. But you have to take away the assumption that all traumatic brain injury is focal and that a helmet can solve the problem. You have to step away from that and look at the dynamics of, of head movement and realize that there's a neck, <laughs> okay? And once you realize that, the solutions are there. And um, I, I, I think that you, while you do need a helmet, and don't get me wrong, you do need a helmet, uh, but it's good for skull fractures, focal injuries, and so on, but there's a shearing going on that's really producing a lot of problems in terms of concussion, even more severe traumatic brain injury. And wouldn't it be great if we can just solve that problem? I think that it's solvable. Uh, that's my personal opinion. Uh, I think that from looking at the sci science behind shearing injury, that it is solvable of the right kind of people. Um, and I would like to see, uh, as a person that's very interested in seeing good outcomes for people with traumatic brain injury, I'd like to see more effort put into that. I think that you will not get a solution just by focusing on the helmet you have to take the neck into, it, into consideration. Yes, there's a lot of issues of restricting or possibly restricting neck motion, but that's, it's almost like, you know, I've got a diagnosis for cancer, but what's a treatment? <laughs> you know, let's focus on the proper diagnosis or what the proper biomechanics are, and then from that we will, we will come to a solution.